you guys making highlights to this game? Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait to see. What's up, BYU Cougar Nation? Braden Brown played football here 2008-2012 as a tight end and offensive tackle. James Lark here, played quarterback 2006-07 uh, and then 2010-11-12. We're back for alumni day. What's up Cougar Nation? Spencer Linton here on the set of BYU Sports Nation and there's only one way to adequately prepare for Alumni Day and that's with the head ball coach Kalani Satake. What's up guys? So many great dudes back in the building man. This is a special deal. Yeah, I love it man. It's, it's uh, so much fun. It makes me feel a little younger but not, I mean I'm still old man. But <laughs> a little younger but I will not be participating in the game. <laughs> Dang it! That I, was my next question. I had the one play last year, and it was magnificent. You remember? <laughs> I, I remember. took the knee. I was smart. I got out of there healthy. So I, I'm looking forward to doing the same thing. To, to I mean, I hope I don't get a penalty, but I'm going to complain <laughs> to the rest about something. Go, Lottie. Go Cougs! Love you guys. My pleasure now to welcome in three of the members of the 1984 BYU Football National Championship team. Warren would be like, what are you doing? He goes, oh, Cause is trying to be a tough guy right now. So I'm kind of ignoring him right now. I'll throw it to him in the game, but right now... I'm and here's the worst it. part, Norm goes, okay, that's fine. Yeah, exactly. You don't really realize the real impact until 40 years later, 20 years later, 10 years later. And at the time, you're just going through it being a child. And, and people are trying to teach you it. And, it's a lifelong impact for a decision that was made by a 17-year-old kid. Yeah, it's like we haven't skipped a beat. Just seeing the guys going over all the memories, great memories we had during those times. It, it, it's an exciting time. I love being here, and you know, that's that's why we come back. It's just that we really were, we had a very good bond together, and it was it was unique and very different from the other years. It's such a fun day, just. To see so many of the BYU football family collectively gather here. Yeah, it was good to see the whole family. The 1984 team was so huge. I mean, it changed my life. It's such a great sight to see so many of you here today. We are one family with all of those coaches and all the players. We realize that we might not have all played for the same, but it is one family. But it's an honor for me to welcome you here back home to BYU. And last night I had the opportunity of listening to a discussion panel with the 1984 team. It was really cool to see the connection, the camaraderie. That's the power of BYU football. It is in the people. It's in the young men that played here, it's in the wives that they married, the children that they bear, the families that they raised, and watch this movement take over. What's up Cougar Nation, Riley Nelson here, former quarterback, here at Alumni Day, Spring Ball, taking in the beautiful sights, we got some work going on behind us. Hey, good to be back with the boys, check out the team, I'm excited for them, I think it's going to be a lot of excitement heading into this 2024 season. and. Get that second season in the Big 12. Excited to see what changes and progress are made. That's what it's all about. All of us talk about how it's special the time that we get to spend as players, but it'd be nothing without all of you out there who support us as athletes, both current and former, and want to say we love you guys. And go Cougs. Had a little special guest here on the on the practice field. We got Big Dave Nelson. Let's go Cougs. That's right. Best dad in the whole world. Number one Cougar fan right here. What's up Cougar Nation? It's Preston Rex with Anthony. Alumni Day. Thank you. And Byron Rex. So. Yes, sir. Here for Alumni Day. What's up everybody? Mitch Matthews here. We're back for an alumni game. My team is 2-0, about to be 3-0. But uh, I got a DM last night from Cosmo. We're going to go crazy on some TikToks. Stay tuned. Hey, can you do the gritty? Our team hasn't changed, Team Navy, because we haven't lost. So the best predictor of the future is the what? The past, baby. It's you know a new day. Come on. Yeah, it's always good to anchor in the past. Yeah, right. I'm going with Coach Harvesty. I think he's with the Navy today, so I'm going to Navy today. I want to go for the Royals, but 
It's looking like Navy's gonna take the win. Yeah, Navy. Cody Hoffman. Oh yes. I'm on that What's going on? I'm gonna go Who Royal. Making the team. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go Royal. Shout out to Braden Brown. Shout out that dude. Hey Cougar Nation, we're out here at the alumni game. Team Navy's gonna win. Team Navy's gonna win. Team Royal. They got that boy Living Heat for on the team. Shout out to Brandon right here. Yeah, shout out to B. Yeah, shout out Unk. If they throw the ball Unk way, it's a pick. Are they trying Unk? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh, 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 oh. Oh, no! I told y'all, they throw it B way, it's trap. Unk say Seatville. No more. No more. They nervous. If that was a good pass, that was six. That was six. Hey, Jake Rest up here at the alumni game here with Steve Young. I feel the, the call of the past, man. I remember the days when I used to stand by here and I could do it. I can't do it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All I care about, there's no injuries, no injuries on celebrations, and there was a lot of excessive celebrations. Really happy to have the alumni here. Thank you, Cougar Nation, for showing up. Love you guys so much. Go Cougs. If we don't throw a fade ball for game, we could have, we could have, we could have did a trick play or something. Where's the trick play or something? Where's poop I, told, the I told Coach Kalani, come on, get the fullback dive and just end it like that. <laughs> come get the fullback dive and end it like that. About, I told Coach Kalani, come get the fullback dive. Yeah, the, the young guys. Old, 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 old school still running with them. Yeah, old school got to get a little back. Old school still running with them. Old school got to get a little Vaseline on their arms. Their arms not like quite like still there. So WD forty or something. Yeah, like like Steve. I just talked to Mr. Young. You know he the goat. You know, but I got to tell him like, come on, lock in. You got those touchdowns. You can't be throwing picks out here. 